Hello everyone. I'm Ming Du from Professor Sun Zhong Liu's group of Dalian Institute of Chemical Physics. I'm glad to see our recent work regarding high efficiency large rear perovskite through cell fabrication. Perovskite through cells have been regarded as one of the most promising photovoltaic technologies. In just a few years, the power conversion efficiency has increased from 3.8% to over 25%. However, two major challenges remain to be addressed, large-scale production and stability of devices. Generally, high-efficiency perovskite through cells are made by non-scale coating processes, for example, spin coating. To pursue a large-scale fabrication of perovskite films, we focus on through-dye coating due to its advantage of high throughput and continuous row-to-row fabrication. More importantly, to overcome its drawbacks of low uniformity and poor crystallization quality, we developed a new method, slow dye coating with high pressure nitrogen blue process. Firstly, the perovskite precursor was cast on the substrate. The wet film was immediately extracted by using high pressure nitrogen flow. A stable intermediate phase of perovskite is formed which was then subjected to the annealing process to grow into a perovskite film. The high-speed nitrogen flow enables solvent to evaporate rapidly. A significant temperature drop leads to an oversaturated state for homogeneous crystallization, and such process provide dense, uniform, and pinholes-free perovskite films from which a very high PCE of 21.2% is achieved. In addition, HPAE enables a wide operating window. On the other hand, to reduce the deep level traps in perovskite through cells, it diminishes the stability, such as under coordinate areas, vixes, and blunt bomb clusters. The ionic liquid is used. The ionic liquid brings about the convergence of surface defects and prevents erosion by humidity and the diffusion of good atoms to improve device stability. Also, ionic liquid preservation effectively reduces non reductive recombination and bimolecular recombination and prolongs carrier lifetime, yielding a highest. PCE of 22.7%. Finally, HPAE and ionic liquid perceiving strategies were successfully employed to scale up a perovskite through cell module of 14 times 14 square millimeter. Also, a PCE of 19.6% is achieved. To our best knowledge, it's the highest efficiency for such a large rear perovskite through cell modules. In summary, we demonstrated a facile yet compelling strategy to deposit large scale perovskite layers by using a room temperature controlled printing process. If you are interested in our work, you can find the details from our paper. Thanks for watching. Bye.